Hey there guys, with Metro, and we are back. It is Tuesday, so the servers are going down. What is this guy? Greetings, Wanderer. I can kill him for an epoch stone, it says? Yeah, anyway, servers are going down, so we don't have a lot of uh, time. We got an hour. I don't I still haven't decided what we're going to do, by the way. Um, but yeah, we want to try to get more power. So maybe we'll go do like Heart of Fear or something like that. We couldn't do the... Uh, Oh, no, you know what? Let's go do, uh, um, Sulong, or whatever. Let's try to do Sulong again. I gotta look. I don't even remember what the recommendation was for that guy, but... Basically need to be able to heal him very quickly. I don't remember what. Is this Vindication? Yeah, I think it's this. I don't know, like, if there's actual options here or there's just a single option. Like, I don't know how any of these work. I've never tried to do healing <laughs> or tried to heal other players. I'm going to try this. try this again, though. And we can also try uh, Heroic or Siege of Orgrimmar. I was, wait was going to wait on Siege, but... Alright, this is super annoying trash, so we gotta be cautious. They're dying like crazy quick now, but still. We'll fight one at a time because this mechanic is a huge pain in the ass. Just AMS it. It's the best we got. Okay, one more. Yeah, the server's supposed to go down and so the reset won't will occur while oh, while this while the servers are down, so we won't be able to play on this reset. Let's play tomorrow, maybe we can do another episode. Uh alright, let's see. One of them was a problem. I don't remember why. Let's kill this guy. I think it was. Just need to make sure we're moving the. I remember they try to heal. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so that's that's the problem then. All right, we'll kill this guy instead. I need to be able to actually. Um, Interrupt when I need to move the mob. They don't, uh, they actually heal. So there's no real reason to uh, worry about cleaving them at all. <laughs> Look at it, it's a different color on the different parts of the floor, that's weird. I don't know if there's a better way to, like, I don't think it really matters because we're destroying them, but... You know, that's, see, that's a problem there. Move them, move them, move them, move them. Oh, okay. Could be good, right? Yeah. A little sketchy. Oh, see, wait, are my weak horse bugged on live? Well, I don't know, too. Why does it say it's up? Um, it's not up. It's been a problem on uh, the beta for a while now. Beware. 
could be something to do with them changing the add-on. I don't know. This is the thing that sucks about making your own weak horse, man. <laughs> or, like, getting things from years ago and changing them. Like, I don't know how to fucking change. Wait, what? I don't know how to change them, you know? Like, if this damage type weak horse stops working, it doesn't work on the beta currently. But I, I think it's something to do with, like, displaying numbers. Because, like, no weak ore that displays numbers works right now. Like, displays values. Like, the blood, um... No. Just gonna heal. Anyway, the, uh... Blood shield tracker also doesn't work. I'm pretty sure it's the same error. I don't know. Yeah, it's like this is just bug now. She's gonna keep healing, I can't get him to move. I'm just like randomly interrupting stuff, I guess, so I'm paying attention. Oh, he's dead. Ma Boris, Spear of Night. <laughs> okay, don't, do we not already have that one? This is like six of them, I guess. No, the waters. I must it's supposed to be a red one that I wanted, but anyway, um, oops. Okay, so. Warmth? That one seems like it would heal. <laughs> um. I don't know. He yeah, has put a bunch of them on, I guess. What are my like worst gems? Meteor storm, fervor, incendiary terror, explosive brush. Okay. So we definitely get rid of those two. Seems like vindication, definitely. Meteor storm. Wait, did I not put the other one in? What happened? I have to hit the apply button. I always forget to do that. Do we do leech? I don't know if that's helping anybody. Doesn't look like any of these other ones will actually heal him. There's some things that we could do to him, but they they're not gonna help. So presumably those two are gonna help, and that's it. All right, let's try it. We also do like the Shadow Pan dailies, like we were talking about a couple of episodes ago. If this doesn't work. You just get so much freaking bronze from any of these caches that it's like a total waste of time to do anything else. That was a common, like I, I saw somebody talking about this the other day and they, they said like Mop Remix is not well made in counterpoint to what I've said. And um... Like, the way I look at it is it's awesome because, like, literally everything gives anything. But because of the way, I guess really it's on the community first and foremost, but, like, because of the way people, like, I don't even know, like, obsessively min-maxed it, they had to change things, and now those changes have made it not like that anymore, is what the person was saying, was, like, you can only kill certain things, like, if you, you know... 
if you don't kill the things that drop caches, then you're basically not getting any significant bronze. Like raw bronze farms don't really do anything now, which I, I don't necessarily agree with. That's silly to say that, but yeah, obviously, if we just did the raids, like if we did every raid every day, we'd get way more than anything else that we could possibly do. All right, well, I don't know what's gonna happen here. 78%. This is, yeah, it's like actually bugged. That's fucking garbage run. Uh, oh, you didn't get healed from any of that. Oh, I think he did that time. Oh, yeah, 1%, okay. I need to, like, death strike and shit, don't I? Like, how am I gonna... I'm dying so fast, I can't even death strike. 84 somehow. I don't know how he's at 84. Something happened. They're dying so quick. Stop dying so quick. I just need to stop them from getting any damage. Like, we can't afford any time loss on him, right? Oh, yes. He's 79 now. Alright. That's going to be a problem. I don't think we're going to be able to do I don't. I don't know like how you would even be able to do this, first of all. Doesn't make a lot of sense. His health is not going up. And there's just not enough enemies, so I can't actually do the things I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I can't heal. Doesn't seem like it'd be possible. Shit just dies too fast is the problem. I'm, I, I'm not even sure like how best to trigger these things, but other than this strike, I think I don't have a lot of options. I mean, it's health going up, but it's not gone up since we started the fight, so I don't think we can out heal the actual problem. Oh, wait, what? What the fuck is this? It just ends? Forget it, we're good. Okay. Just ends, apparently. I don't know. You don't actually have to get him to full. You just have to stop him from dying, I guess. So the problem wasn't even, we didn't even need to do healing there. We just needed to do more damage to the adds. Not what I expected. Still in combat. Out of range, what? That worked though, right? Uh all right, apparently these last two are not a problem. We'll see. Ooh, ooh, two weapons. But I got both of them, it looks like. This is a really cool looking weapon. I always like this. This is from this is actually from this raid. What is this? Don't care to find out. <laughs> I think this fight's like a pain in the ass, I can't remember.
It's gotta be, considering it's rated at 80% health. That means there's something. Yeah. I knew there was something going wrong. You have to kill the adds near it, I think. They damage the shields. Oh, that wasn't bad, though. Beware. Very strange room. I mean, it's not even a room. It's literally part of the hallway that we're in. Strange how the first two fights are super mechanically complicated, and then we got this one. I think that was like the ads are important, but I'm just blasting through them. I don't know what their importance was. Do they like heal? Maybe is the thing? Because it looks like you only need. Oh god, what's this? Forget it. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? What are we doing? I have no idea. I'm gonna die from whatever this is now. What is this? I always put yeah. yeah Alright, well I am dead. So I forget it. this is a hard fight. I think we're supposed to AoE on top of her, aren't we? Is that how it works? That has a that has a memory of mine. Spot in my memory. Dude, I watched Oppenheimer last night. Oh, holy fuck. That's like one of the best films ever made. But I'm a huge Christopher Nolan fan. Just the fact that it literally has music throughout the like three hours of music, it's pretty nuts. It could have been like six hours. I don't know why they, they it's crazy to say this, but I don't know why he made it this short. I was going to go see that in the movies, but then I ended up going to the shore last year instead. I even bought the tickets and everything and then go. So what is this hide thing? This is a time based thing? Why did it do it so late in the fight? We need to like save all Beware. defense for that. Oh, alright. Oh, well, I don't know what this is. Why this is showing up like this, but I think it's because maybe that's like a dot I have on her or something, I don't know. It looks like every time I, I do something it splashes though, so I think that's what you have to do. Just keep AoEing on top. Yeah. That sounds right. But this spray is pretty dangerous. So we need to make sure if it does it again, we have AMS and pretty much also use it. It's either this or that, it looks like. So that means we're probably gonna get another one based on how long it all took. Oh, and our stacks dropped, all right, well that's nice. Is that, oh, that's probably because of this mechanic, huh? Because of the... So it's special CD, it looks like. That's what I need to pay attention to. Is it gonna alternate? Or is it random? Because if it's random, we have a shot at this being doable. 
right now. Look at this spray time. Oh, yeah, right. it's random. All right, it's easy mode. Joke mode. Getting hit really fucking hard, though. You just have to finish her for 30 seconds. Did it. Box of fancy stuff. Yeah. Sure. Alright, this fight I don't remember at all. We never did this fight on Heroic, and I don't really remember it from normal or whatever, so. Let's see what happens. I have to go now. Didn't I do this in LFR? I feel like I did this recently. Mm. It was on the beta. Or on the PTR. Will, will you help? All I can say is, can you imagine if Mob came out in 2024 instead of 2014? Or 12 or whenever the hell it came out? It would look so freaking good, dude. It's like the highly stylized characters is... Yeah, it's awesome. They're awesome. <sighs> What is that yellow thing? That's like a buff, right? Is it damage buff? I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. It doesn't seem to do anything specific. I think it's you as the tank are supposed to stand in it to stop. Like, yeah, you see how it makes a line? So people can stand in that. Yeah, that's what's happening. Kind of a cool mechanic, actually. Uh, we have to do this phase still. It's gonna reset on us, is it not? Though Maybe it's not. Killing the golden lotus pe people. Oh, he's attacking me while I'm doing this. Okay, what is this? Primary resource regeneration increased. Uh. Okay, that's the end of it. Good. Because we're in danger otherwise. What are these ads? Why are they not taking any damage? Oh. What the hell is this now? I guess the standing in this barrier thing does nothing, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe this is going to fear us if we're not in it, so we'll stay in it. Just called Breath of Fear, but presumably it's gonna fear us. I don't think this these do anything. They shoot out these little things. I didn't even notice that those ads were there in phase one, but I think they were there in phase one too. Is he gonna make us do the other thing again? Yeah, it's based on your energy, I think, yeah. Um, luckily we don't, well, it's not a stack thing. I think it's just how long this phase takes. All right, well, that was actually very easy. We got it, and we'll get a bronze cache from the achievement too, right? Yeah. Three bronze caches from killing that one boss. Very nice. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, why do we have four? We just got like a ton of shit. I have no idea what. Oh, Tranquil Mat. Well, that's not... I don't even know what all this is. I don't know. We just got all kinds of stuff. That's all I know.
Just got 8k bronze from that one boss, pretty much. Well, no, because the other bosses gave it. I didn't look at, I didn't open them yet. Uh, but yeah, okay, we got Hearth. We still got, looks like, 45 minutes. Maybe Siege? Should we go try Siege? I don't know how we would do the first boss. That one seems like that one's going to be a pain in the ass. But we could probably try it. No, let's go do the dailies instead. We'll wait on Siege. I don't really look forward to doing Siege. I may not even do it since we know we can't finish it. It's not my favorite. It's one of my least favorite raids ever, honestly. Throne of Thunder was great at the time. It was a good progression raid. Siege Borgmar was way too fucking long to have any good memories of it. A lot of gems. Been a while since we scrapped them, I guess. Well, that was exciting that we were able to finish that raid, though. Oh, I have to create these. But I, the thing that I was so surprised by with Oppenheimer is like every small character's actor from the Dark Knight series was in that film. The guy who teaches Bruce Wayne how to get out of the prison was Albert Einstein. Like, holy shit. And then, like, the chief of police after Gordon retires or whatever is, uh... Even Gary Oldman was in it. Um, but, yeah. I don't know that guy's name at all, but he was he was in this film as, like, some side character. Um, the guy who, like, investigates him and does, like, a report on him is... He was, like, the guy who shoots the mayor. It's just, like, a bunch of side characters. But literally, I think, like... Besides the main actors, every one of the characters was in the film. There's not that many side characters in, in the Batman films, though, I guess. <clears throat> but, like, yeah, I can't think of an important character that wasn't... Well, I guess, like, the, the, cop, the cops that, like, end up betraying... Yeah, there's a lot of characters that weren't in it, obviously, but the bad guys, like... Kingpin or whatever. What was that guy's name? That's not the name. Uh, Michael Jai White or whatever. He, he wasn't in the film, but... Anyway. Uh, Gamble. That guy's name is Gamble. How was that? <laughs> Does it just shoot out? Totally wrong way. I don't even remember why we were doing this. There's some achievement to do them with no person right again be well so don't talk to these ones that's oh, the same ones from that time we did it last time
Oh, the Panthers won shit. I even checked that out last night. Forgot all about that. Jesus. There's like six mobs standing right next to each other. That's funny. Uh, anyway, what else? Any new updates on ESPN? Another player here. What are we even doing? Supposed to be killing beast masters or serpent binders too. Ancestor slain. That's kind of rude as fuck, honestly. Kill illusionist too, I guess. But yeah, Christopher Nolan's just my favorite like director or whatever. Filmmaker. I don't know anything about what he actually does, like behind the scenes but all of his films all have a very unique look and they all have a very distinct pace and feel and I think the thing I like the most is how there's just like constant music in the background I don't know if this is maybe I'm not like maybe I'm just like gushing over him for some reason but um, I don't feel like this is normal like I don't think most filmmakers do that right where they have music playing the whole time this is literally three hours of music in Oppenheimer. I don't think music ever did play. There was times when music was like suspended for suspense because of his like PTSD or whatever. But at no point did music like stop playing for normal scenes. Ancestors, what, what am I missing here? Oh, we have to click these things and then stuff's gonna come out of them, yeah. That's, that's kind of depressing, honestly, but all good. Let's dig up some graves and kill the fucking bones. I don't know, like, let's see. How old is this man? He's young, he's only 53, holy shit. Let's see, I wanna see all of his films, cause, yeah, if I like this many of his films, I should probably see all of This is just like a, like I've seen every Quentin Tarantino and Hayao Miyazaki film, right? Like those same things you would expect. Um, but his films are all fucking long, man. I don't, somebody said Interstellar, I can't believe you haven't seen that. But it's long too, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I've never even heard of some of these though. Insomnia, what is that? His early films prior to Batman probably won't watch, but. Al Pacino, Robin Williams, Hilary Swank, well. Maybe I will watch, this sounds good. Seek my counsel. Goodbye. Be well. John T. Deathspeaker. Psychological thriller. That okay? I'm gonna have to watch that. <laughs> it's 2002 though. It probably doesn't look that good. Oh yeah, Jonathan Nolan too. That's the guy who did Westworld, yeah. And then there's, I always confuse them, but then there's Ridley Scott and, and his brother who actually, he committed suicide, he jumped off a bridge. Pretty, uh, pretty sad. He, he was another really, like the two of them were gonna be huge together as well. This is not who we're supposed to be fighting. 
sorry, buddy. I'll probably be up to you later, but right now, no. That was... That was worth flying all the way over here. The Shambu that we need to kill, right? This this quest last time was this. Hop on the dragons. Following. I'm definitely not watching a film from 1998. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, Inception I've seen. Obviously, huge fan. The Prestige is that's my top film ever. Um... Inception is excellent too. Dark Knight Rises, we've seen all of the Dark Knight films. Interstellar, I've never seen. Dunkirk, I've never seen. Oh, Tenet as well. This did not do well review wise, right? But I, I assume I'm going to love it. to be prepared that's it hmm uh all right. yeah i don't really understand these dailies at all it's like we missed something Slow down. Speak up. that's how we got i go watch over you okay now what uh golden nose dies again i don't know maybe go do other stuff? I don't know. Is there other stuff we can still do? Well, what's some stuff that we still need to do? Wait, where is it? Oh, remix service. We won't ever be able to finish the raids on our own. This raid, though, we will, I think. Quest, like everything else is done, right? Shadow pan is salt. I guess we can go try to Rumu again, but don't think we've gained much power since last time. This guy doesn't even give. I think this guy like doesn't give prompts, right? Didn't we have this happen last time we did it? Yeah, this guy doesn't actually give loot. I think it's because you're not meant to blink in here and I'm like cheating. Oh yeah, we can try heroic. Fuck it, let's go try heroic. That'll give new allocations of bronze, right? I don't know if there's like a 10 and 25 heroic though, or if it's just going to be scaled to 25. Oh, we also never killed Undasta, did we? Or, I think we did, yeah. Yeah, we did that. So that's it. Those are the only achievements left, and we're not going to be able to get them all. Solo. I mean, realistically, we can try the raids like that we are able to complete mechanically again. in there. What is this? That's nice looking. I'm telling you, dude, if Mob came out today, it would be the best looking expansion ever. Dragonfly. Like, think about Dragonflight, right? And Dragonflight's like... Oh, it's just like a path through the mountain, I see. Dragonflight's like a pretty highly stylized expansion, but it doesn't have that crazy Asian theme to it, you know? What wisdom do you see? Be sure to take a moment and enjoy the view. Yeah, again, from 2012, it's fucking good. It's actually wild, because like WAD, and even, honestly, dude, I'm gonna go say like, probably through BFA, like, MOP is the best looking expansion.
Shadowlands tops it simply because of Ardenweald and Bastion, like crazy zones that. See, that was a good thing, and I said this when Shadowlands came out. I said Shadowlands is going to be. Uh, what? We're not allowed to do both normal and heroic in one day, I guess. How the fuck do we even get out now? That works. Um, I said that Shadowlands is going to be a great expansion because it is an expansion where they are making everything up from scratch. Like, there's no precedent for what any of this stuff's supposed to look like. So they can just do whatever the hell they want. And obviously, like, you know, that's a probably an artist's, like, dream, you know what I mean? Um, whereas, like, when they made WAD, everything had to look like it was Shadowmoon Valley kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, it had to look like a certain thing. So their creativity is is limited. And I, I think, you know, I think both Mop and Shadowlands have that in common. And that's why they both look so goddamn good. And then Dragonflight is just, like, next level. Like, that's just not even... There's not even a reason why that looks so good. That's just awesome looking. Cool. And they just they just made great zones. I think Dragonflight is just they just made great zones. They made zones that represented the different Dragonflights very well. Uh, so what? I'm not allowed to do heroic, I guess. All right. Well, we're kind of running out of ideas here. That's weird. I don't know why that would be the case. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's go Timeless Isle. I guess we'll fuck around Timeless Isle. That's it probably for our power for today. Ah, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's try Siege. We're right here anyway. Might as well. We only got like 30 minutes left, so. We'll try. As long as we can kill a boss or two, we'll get some browns from it, and that'll be that. Back to normal. I just don't like this raid. I just spent way too much time in it. This and Dragon Soul, like, we adventure together again. they probably wouldn't have been bad expansions if they, or bad uh, raids if they didn't take two years, basically. Like, between the time we tested it on the PTR to the time it was the last time we did progression on it, it was like a year and a half, maybe more. I remember being super excited for this raid. When it was on the PTR, I tested it. I was at this point, I was like making videos. Like this was like the first raid that I was like making content like regularly, and I tested it on the um, on the beta. Like every single boss, we tested on the beta multiple times, or the PTR, or whatever. And uh, I tested it with viewers of the channel at Ace Games TV, and there was this dude who I thought I knew. Like, I don't know, it's really weird, because he was really chummy with me. I played with a guy named uh, Hyperion when I was, like, like a long time ago. And there was a guy named uh, Hyperion X something or other on watching the channel. So, I, uh, I used to call, everybody used to call him Hype. So, I was calling him Hype. And, like, we were... You know, he, he's doing the raid. He wants to do the raid with us. Like, he's one of the viewers who's going to come to the raid. And I was like, all right, sweet, man. Glad to see you again. And he's, like, not, like, responding well to these comments. Like, he's not really saying anything back. And then he talks, and he's got this, like, crazy ass, like, I don't even know what kind of accent it was. But it was not an American player. I was like, oh. That, it was, like, super fucking awkward. Because I was like, hey, you know, like, I was like... Saying like really like I, I can't wait for you to me to be best friends kind of thing. <laughs> I mean like it was super fucking awkward. And then he was like he was like yeah that'd be great kind of thing. Like he's typing, but he doesn't realize that I think he's somebody that he's not. And then like literally after that I never saw him again. I think it was just too awkward for both of us to handle. Yeah, and that was the funny part, too. Yeah, he showed up to the raid testing, and he was a feral druid. 
I was like, what the fuck are you playing? He used to play a mage or something like that. I was like, good, we're going to have a nice, good range DPS. Because whenever we did the raid testing, it was always crazy. Because it was like, all of, the, all of the regulars in my guild were all melee DPS. Diabolical, Juno, uh, pretty much like all the regulars in the guild were, uh, were melee DPS. And the people in the guild who weren't melee DPS were all like, you know, they were associates more than friends. So to get them to do stuff like raid testing, it was not not common, you know? Hey, it was funny, though, because I was, like, so excited. I was like, good, we're going to have an actual good mage for the raid testing. And then he shows up, and he's a feral druid. And Siler's like, uh, I thought you said he was going to be a mage. I was like, yeah. I guess this fight's gonna be fun. Just gonna take a long time. A very long time. Because we don't have any way to heal those blobs. But on the bright side, it's very quick and easy to do this because we can just run from one to one and just dot it up. And we're so fast now. I think we got seven there. That's pretty good. But they get less and less. Like, there's going to be less and less of those every time. But that was just, like, stupid, naive me. Like, Hyperion is not the name of a person, right? Like, any, there's probably a million people who use that name in this game. It's the name of fucking gear in a while. Like, Hyperion gear, you know? I'm still like that at times where like I hear certain things said but I'm, I'm like so like in, like I don't really get out much kind of thing so I assume that if somebody if two people say the same thing they must have some relationship to each other like I, I, I can't come up with a good example but especially with like slang when somebody says like the same slang that I've never heard before like I remember uh, uh, I honestly can't come up with a good example But there's so many different sources of slang that it's like it's stupid to expect there to be any correlation no matter who who is saying it uh, all right another phase i oh, know okay good okay well, that was easy mode that's like maybe one of the easiest bosses we've done and it was not even slow Great Sword of Fallen Pride. So these are new, new colors, right? Yeah. That was the original one. Well, we can do these first five, and then the raid. The servers are going to restart. So. It will take much time for the veil to heal, but you have given us hope. This stupid shit here. I don't understand what this is. All right. Hopefully this uh, this boss will be easy. This boss had some problems when we soloed it for transmog. It would just like reset if you kill him too fast. I don't really understand the mechanics very well, so let's see what happens. I think you want to kill them evenly. Like you got to break them like one to seventy, then one to sixty, or one to thirty. Blah blah blah. I think the problem is like you push them so fast they go from whatever the one split is to the next split and then they never get to do their mechanics and they just reset or something so these were the the quest givers from the golden lotus because this is where the golden lotus dailies were originally the golden pagoda so it's like a good little like i mean that's cool that they did it like that but i would rather them just have the fucking dailies in the game still for sure. I used to farm this for transmog every week. 
trying to get these shoulders and then I just gave up. I did it probably like for like a couple months. Not every single week, but like, yeah. I did it a lot. This sure energy has trapped their spirits here to endlessly relive their failures. They're all the same health, so I don't know Beware. what I should do now. I think like only one goes into this phase, so you can attack the other one when that's happening. It's actually a pretty smart idea. Like they did a good job with this fight thematically and, and makes you think they did a good job with the actual raid itself. Or even the zone. You could even maybe go as far as to say the zone itself because it this this makes you feel like, alright, well these guys have important roles still after their their dailies have been irrelevant, you know. I wonder if Blizzard got rid of the dailies because they wanted to like try to retcon some of the story there, or if they got rid of it because they thought like, alright, this is a pointless thing to have in the game now. Like, it's like old content, right? Like, what do you need the dailies for from, um, I don't know. No, they've never really removed dailies before, so it's probably just, they probably wanted to change. Because I know there was some debatable storytelling in when you got exalted with Golden Lotus, it was like dailies that then unlock more content, more stories and stuff. And I think it's like really stupid or like non-related lore, so. That may be why they did that. Oh fuck. Overcome with how good you look, thank you. Is it overcome? I guess it's overcome. Unsure. I don't blame them though. It's gonna happen again, I assume, but we got AMS this time. Didn't work. Skip all this like we do when we're doing transmog runs. Alright, 15 minutes. We'll just go until it fails or until we're like at a boss that it's probably only going to be two more bosses. Well, there's only two more that we can even do, right? We can't, yeah, we can't do Galacrass, so. Finish up these two and then that'll be it. Four bosses only, unfortunately, in here. Not really worth it. Must have been hidden away long before recorded history. And with good reason. In the chamber ahead. Under our peaceful land slept the heart of an old god. Hold! Oh my, what is this? Hello, I am Lord Warrior. <laughs> no further corruption will enter the heart chamber. Further corruption? Oh no, we are here to stop the corruption and save Pandaria. You wish to purge the corruption? Yes, please let us pass. Should you pass this door at this time, you would fail. You, all of you, are corrupted with the insidious plague known as pride. You stand tall and proud atop your accomplishments, and this will be your downfall. 
Should you wish to defeat the corruption, you will first need to purify the corruption within yourselves. Speak to me again when you are prepared to face your inner demons. Okay, this fight I don't remember very well. I will create a field to keep your corruption quarantined. Prove yourselves worthy, and I will let you pass. The light Five, cleanses, four, but it is not three, gentle. Two, Gird yourselves one. and be purified. There's like ads that we have to kill or something like that around the room. In corruption or something, I don't know what that is. Cool looking room, but... This guy is not dying. Got a lot of fucking health. What is that thing? I don't even know this fight at all. I don't remember a thing about this fight for some reason. I remember the next fight being kind of cool. On, on Heroic or Mythic, whatever, it had like a maze that you had to navigate to. And then like ads that exploded or something. I can't remember much of that fight either, but that one I have some better memories from than this one. I think you're meant to go downstairs and kill ads and then they give you a buff or something, but we can just actually just straight up kill them, I guess. Cleanse your. I mean, I don't know, yeah. Let's just try it because it's gonna take forever, so. Yeah, I just reset when you do that, okay. So we can't do that. Well, at this rate, we're probably only going to get to do this boss at... Oh, I have to talk to him again. I was like, what, is he going to respawn, or what's happening here? Very well. I will a this is just going to take really long, though. I think that beam hits in the other realm too, so you had to like go in at certain times. I don't remember this beam purpose. But yeah, I guess we'll just kill him with a 50% damage debuff. Don't, don't, not gonna be entering this raid again. <laughs> this was a complete waste of time. It was fun to see those first two areas, I guess, but...
But that's it after this. If we can't solo Galakras, we'll never... That's it. There's no new content. Like, there's nothing else that we haven't done. It's been, it's been fun just exploring shit that I haven't done since 2012. It's actually very fun. I like this version of WoW. If this version of WoW where you can solo shit, but it's not just one-shotted, if that exists, I'm playing it. That's like my favorite version of WoW. Being able to actually solo shit that's not just trivially easy, like actually one-shot shit. That's why I got into soloing Mythic Plus in the first place. Because it was fun to go do like Mythic Plus and, and feel like I'm powerful and not, you know, be completely walking over it. Like if I wanted to solo a normal dungeon, I would be just walking over it, you know? That's what I maybe should do at the end of the... Yeah, I think that I need to. I need to get back into Mythic Plus soloing. I haven't done Mythic Plus soloing since... Oh, I don't know when. I think we did We did one in Shadowlands. At the very end, I did Sanguine Depths. I remember that. What would be the best week for? Uh, week one is tyrannical. So any non-tyrannical week. It's got to be a fortified week. Fortified Entangling Bolstering. That would probably be the best one. That's coming up in two weeks. In three weeks. It's only week 10 that's about to start. Yeah, alright. Hopefully I'll remember that sentiment. Oh, okay, now there's that. What was the point of them? Beware. Not sure. Yeah, really any non-afflict... Yeah, so it's going to have to be week two. I got to remember. Oh, actually, I'm not, am I, am I going to miss that week? I'm going to miss that week. I'm going to be on vacation. Maybe I'll stream that when I get back or something. What is this? Oh! What? Now I do even less damage. What the fuck? What the hell was the point of that? Somebody has to pick it up or something? I don't get it. Whatever. It's almost over. Can't do any less damage, so. We might kill him in five minutes at this rate. Uh, we'll see. But this is what I need to figure out for the whole private server thing. Like, I need to figure out a way to make the bosses soloable and still challenging, where I have to actually care about what they're doing but like not really be in much danger of dying. Like the only time I die in these is if I get like feared or do something super wrong. Beware. So I need to find a way to make that possible so I can solo raids. It won't be that hard. I just need like a ton of stamina, I guess, but. This is actually going to be kind of close, I feel like. No, I mean, it's fine, yeah. Three minutes, plenty of time, but... I think they're doing damage. They're pulsing damage. That's why you have to, to loot those normally.
What? It was dead. It was like at zero percent. Summon rage. I mean, that was a very that was a seven minute fight, I guess. So it's, it's an rage. Well, if I didn't eat that extra ore, we would have we would have upgraded that. All right, well that was a very low efficiency time spent, thirty minutes spent, but hey, it was fun, kind of cool to see the fights again. So, all good. That's gonna be it for today. Can we upgrade? We can upgrade another item. Let's do that real quick. We'll see next episode. Uh, it'll have reset again, so we'll be able to go back into Siege of Orgrimmar or um, Throw of Thunder. Maybe we'll try Darumu again that time. I don't know. I think what I might do in between now and then is maybe do the dungeon dailies off screen or something like that to just get another couple upgrades. Because I don't want to go in there and just waste time. But it should be like not really time wasted because now we're able to do that. I think we're able to get to that guy in an hour. So it's like we can do that all in one episode now. So 472. Yeah, so six more upgrades right? or seven or something. Anyway, that's it. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.